Try that. Hmm. Let's see. If we do popsicle sticks, we can do tally marks with the number one. And our number one for tally marks looks like this. So there's our tally mark number one. Ooh, I have some other things up here that make a number one. This is a dice. And it has six sides. So it's got six numbers on it. Hmm. Is that a number one? Is that what a number one looks like? One, two, three, four, five. That's too many dots on this side to be a one. How about this side? Can you see this side? Mm, it's better count these. One, two, three. That's too many dots on this side. How about that side? One, two. Uno, dos. Mm, that's not number one either. How about this? Whoa! One. One big dot on our dice. I think I want to draw that. Hmm. So we need to start with a square. So let's draw our dice. Our one dot dice. Ready? So we're going to do a square. We start at the top, slide down, slide over, slide up, slide over. What color dot should we put in our dice? Should we make a nice big red dot? One big dot. One big dot. So when I write a number one, it looks like that. When I make it our star number, it looks like that. And on a tally mark, it looks like that. Can you see? I hope you can see these. And when it's on a dice, it looks like that. To make our dice, slide over, slide down, slide over, slide up. Hmm, what other number ones can I find? I have a game called Dominoes. Have you ever played Dominoes? They're a lot of fun to play. I started playing Dominoes when I was very, very little. Very, very young. Oh, and these are teeny tiny Dominoes. Look at these teeny tiny little Dominoes. Dominoes are fun because they're a fun matching game. And I see some dominoes with one dot on one side and zero dots on the other side. Let me see if I can get these open. Hmm. I might have to ask a grown-up for some help. You might have to ask a grown-up for some help on some things, too, sometimes. And it's a good thing to ask for help when you need it, especially when it's a grown-up that you love. Or a teacher, or an aunt or an uncle, or another adult that you really, really like. I'm going to have to show you this very teeny tiny domino. Very, very close. Can you see this teeny tiny little domino? It's so teeny tiny. If you look really closely, it has one dot on one side and zero dots on the other side. See that black line in the middle of the domino? Let's see if I can get a little closer to you so you can see it. Can you see it, the little tiny dot? On the domino, there's one dot here, 
and one zero here. So how many dots on our domino all together? Just one. So our domino, we could draw a picture of our domino on our dot, on our one page, on our superstar number one page. I think I want to make a black rectangle and a rectangle is like a square. It has four sides. Can you draw it with me? Slide over, slide down a little bit, slide over, slide up. There's my domino. And I'm going to put that little black line in there. That's what my domino looked like. What color dot is on our domino? Can you tell? Can you tell what color dot is on our domino? That's right. It's a blue dot. How many dots? One blue dot. One blue crayon. One blue dot. So there's our one that we just wrote on our own. There's our superstar one. There's our tally mark one. One dot on a dice. One dot on a domino. What can we draw one of? We draw a picture of one. What could we draw that's blue? could draw a blueberry. Can you think of anything else that we could draw that's blue? We could draw one of something. How about one heart? Should we try one heart? Around and down. And around and down. I'm going to make my heart a little bigger here. Oh, we could color that in, too. Do, do, do. You could make a rainbow heart. You could make an orange heart. One heart. Oh, you know what? If I wanted to write the word one, the word one has three letters. See if I can do this where so you guys can see this. O N E O N E spells one. O and E spells one. Spelling numbers is such fun. O and E spells one. That's kind of a fun way to do that. I kind of like that. Let's see. What other way could we make a number one? Hmm. Are there any numbers before letter one? Number one? Can't think of any. What's the no? What comes after one? I'm counting on my fingers. One. Two. The number two comes after one. Hmm. What else can we think of? I know. Let's put our number chart down for just a second. I know a song that talks about numbers, and it talks about numbers on our fingers and numbers on our toes. Numbers on our nose. How many noses do we have? One. We only have one nose. What else do we only have one of? Hmm. Mouth. We only have one mouth. We only have one mouth and one nose and one heart. Hmm. What about our thumbs? How many thumbs do we have? Do we have one thumb? No, we have two thumbs. How many fingers do we have? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fingers. Let's see, what else do we have? One, um, one nose, one mouth, one heart. We have two hands and two feet. Hmm. That's funny. That's interesting. If you think of a line going right through the top of your body, straight down, if it's in the middle of your body, you only have one of it. So you only have one nose, one mouth, one chin, one neck, one heart, one belly, <laughs> one belly button. But you have two legs and two knees, ten fingers and ten toes. You have two ears, one, two, and two eyes, one, two. Hmm. So we have ones and twos, lots of ones and twos on us, don't we? Let's see, what else do I have on my table? I know, I went out and I picked flowers yesterday. So maybe I can use my sticky tape. You have sticky tape at home? I have some sticky tape. I have some sticky tape. It's very easy to rip sticky tape. I'm going to put my one flower right over here by my heart. One flower. Oh, look at my number one page is really growing, isn't it? Hmm. And I have, I found one big bead. I'm going to put it on my ribbon. Eek. I can get my little ribbon in here. One bead on my ribbon. My ribbon has sparklies on it. But you could use rope or anything else you find. One bead. There's my one bead. So there's our superstar number one for today. I hope you had a fun time. You could go around and find number ones of things at your house and then you could maybe put them on your number chart for the number one. That would be fun to do number one. I'm going to keep my ribbon handy and maybe we'll just add more beads to it when we do more number charts. So I hope you had some fun. I hope you look around and see what you find with the number one on it today. Maybe you have one car at home or you have one pet. Maybe you have one goldfish or one brother, or one sister, or one abuela staying with you. Maybe you can go outside and find one stick. And then you could hang one bead or one leaf or all kinds of fun things off your one stick to make a one beautiful piece of artwork. I hope you all have a great day today. And I'll see you soon for more arts and funs and things, art and fun and numbers and letters. Have a great day, everybody.